I think very much, uh, it's obviously democracy under trial. We have seen that uh, for the past few weeks after the sham flawed uh, election in this country, uh, members of the democratic alternative have not been spared from the attack um, from uh, the regime in Harare. Obviously, it's a clear sign that uh, the regime didn't win this election because if you had won the election, you wouldn't be victimizing people. You know that our people are being harassed in the countryside. In no particular order, one of our MP candidates, uh, Patrick Cheza, uh, in Chirumans, was actually arrested. He's still uh, under trial up to today in our prison. The same applies to our recently elected deputy mayor, Councillor Kuzaika Zombe. He's also in prison and have not, also not been spared from that uh, concocted charges, flimmed with charges against members of the alternative. But you know that there are people who committed crime during this election. Honorable Tofa, one of our members of parliament, was attacked and the car was barricaded and destroyed destroyed by well-known some people. You know that uh, we even lost someone during this election, but uh, it's cash and release. So it's a clear sign that Zimbabwe is back into the shadow of uncertainty and illegitimacy. Zimbabwe is back into an uncertain future because of this issue. That's why we have said as a movement, as Triple C, that the solution is that Zimbabwe must resolve the vicious cycle of disputed elections. For the past 43 years, all the elections in this country have been subjected to legal challenges, beginning uh, with the election after after independence in 1980 up to date, it shows that elections have not been done in a fair and credible manner in this country. That's why we've involved diplomatic uh, and regional offensive as a movement because subject to us as a member state has got a responsibility uh, to make sure that they assist us as Zimbabwe to resolve this crisis, particularly countries in the region like South Africa because to South Africa the Zimbabwean crisis is a domestic issue rather than a foreign policy issue to them. That's why we've engaged SATAC, that's why we've engaged the regional bodies so that we're able to find each other. How do we find each other? We must make sure that we come up with a roadmap, a political settlement to have a roadmap back to legitimacy so that we have a free and fair election and cure the permanent problem of disputed elections in this country. We must expect that uh, we have to use that envelope and other domestic remedies that are uh, existing to make sure that the crisis is resolved. So Zimbabweans must remain vigilant and they must understand that all this persecution we are seeing we are going to be in and out of the course, we are going to be harassed, but we understand fundamentally so that when we sign to become members of the alternative in the face of autocracy, we are signing uh, for difficulties. We understand fully out of our ideological inclination that there is no struggle without bruises, there is no struggle without pain. That's why here in the city we say we fear for because we understand that this is the nature of our struggle. Thank you.